hello friends welcome to our channel and in this lecture we will see what is a suffix tree and how to draw it okay so we are taking the same example which we had done for the compact suffix try and for the non compact suffix try which is which was google okay so now we will see how to draw us a suffix tree so a suffix tree is something is a little bit different only a little bit different from the compact suffix try in with the fact that it stores the it stores the string that means the suffixes uh, according to key value and not with the uh, and not according to characters okay so what does the key value mean so our word was g o o g o l dollar okay so we can assign the key value as 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 okay these are the key values these are all the key values these are all the words these are all the uh, oh, sorry alphabets and these are the corresponding key values so this is the only difference between the suffix tree and the suffix try suffix try will store according to the characters and suffix while the suffix tree will store according to the key key values okay so the structure will exactly be the same as the compact suffix try okay so if you have this comp so i have already drawn this compact suffix try in here you can see that <clears throat> you can see this uh, from our previous lecture <clears throat> you can see this from our previous lecture okay so we will start from the root okay now by seeing this compact suffix try we will draw the compact suffix tree so first of all it is uh, the first edge on the left hand side is having go okay and go means this one this go okay so you will include the first and the last key values for the age so the first and the last key values are one one is the first and two is the last okay so this will be one comma two okay this will be one comma two and then an a node after this you have two branching for the first one you have ogol dollar so ogol dollar means this one this is ogol dollar okay so here the starting number this is the starting number these all are gone suppose it to be gone these are the starting numbers 3 is the starting number and 7 is the ending number so for this one draw an edge and write in here 3 as the starting number 7 as the ending key okay and this and this leaf leaf will always contain the number of which is the suffix number that is a string number okay so the number of leaves will be equal to the number of suffixes possible with the given word okay so there were seven suffixes possible here so seven suffixes possible so we have seven leaves so this one is covered similarly you had a branch in here and it had l dollar see it had l dollar okay so for l dollar you know that this is l dollar starting one is 6 and ending is 7 so you will include 6 comma 7 okay and then write the suffix number 4 after this from the root you had you had l dollar here l dollar and then 6 which is a, you have covered 1 and 4 so for 6 that is this is 6 l dollar l dollar starting starting is 6 and ending is 7 so you will just write 6 comma 7 and then write the suffix number 6 okay after this you have an o okay you have an o that is a single character so a single character will always have the starting and the ending key values to be the same so how to identify which o is there so you can identify it easily using your intuition your own intuition because here you can see that for the right one you have o l dollar which is the fifth one this is five number okay so you can go to just five number here you can see this is five number this is o l dollar and you can see the o l dollar means this one so the o which is, which we are referring to is this one just before l so just before l we have number five so in here we are referring to number five so 5 comma 5 starting and ending will be same for a single character okay so after this you have three branching you have gol dollar ogol dollar and l dollar 
so geo l dollar first starting with geo l dollar geo l dollar is this one starting is g which is 4 okay this is the 4 and ending is 7 so you will draw an edge right in here 4 comma 7 and then write the suffix number which is 3 okay so you draw again an edge for ogol dollar for ogol dollar the starting is 3 that is with o and dollar for 7 okay then you write 3 comma 7 and you write the suffix number 2 and after that you need to include l dollar l dollar in here so l dollar starting is 6 for l <coughs> okay starting is 6 and for dollar we have we have 7 this is 7 and then we will include this suffix number 5 after this you have only 7 to include that is the empty string and this is dollar so for dollar you have only one key which is 7 starting key and the ending key is also the same 7 so, so 7 comma 7 this is 7 7 okay 7 comma 7 so this is our suffix tree so you can see here that this this is not much different from the compact suffix try the only difference is that the compact suffix try is storing the character uh, characters in the edges that is character or the substring in the edges and here the suffix tree is basically storing the key values of those characters or the substring the starting and the ending key values and it has a map that is with the string a single string and and the corresponding key value for each character of those string so this will have the the suffix tree will have the same complexity as the co as the compact suffix tree so you can use either one of them okay so this is it for the suffix tree and this concludes our total playlist of this suffix try and tree okay so we will upload more videos like this and if you like our videos then subscribe to our channel to see the updates of our videos thank you